Hello my friends, it's Miss Dolores from Baldwin Borough Public Library. Welcome back to Thursday's Baldwin Bedtime Books. Today um, we're going to do one story. Um, the theme is going to be elephants and I was thinking about a glorious day like today and how it is a beautiful day uh, for visiting the zoo. Um, and one of my favorite animals to see there are the African elephants. So maybe you have been there, um, maybe not this year. They are open, um, but you can uh, go visit them um, anytime. Maybe you have been there in the past and you've seen the elephants. So um, we're going to show you um, a little video right now. Um, it's by National Geographic. It's an excellent about four minute video on elephants. And then we're going to come back and we're going to read um, one of my favorite stories about being inclusive. Elephants are large and majestic, but the extent of their size and intelligence may surprise you. Elephants are the largest living land animal. On average, African elephants are about 10 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh up to 18,000 pounds. The largest elephant in recorded history, however, was 13 feet tall and weighed about 24,000 pounds. To sustain this massive size, an adult elephant has to consume an enormous amount, up to 50 gallons of water and about 220 pounds of food, or approximately 70,000 calories every day. Elephant size, however, ends up restricting their movement. While they can walk and swim, elephants are one of the few mammals that can't jump. Their legs are too slender to propel their enormous weight upward. Plus, elephants don't have any spring in their legs since they stand on their toes. Elephants are intelligent creatures one sign of their intellect is their ability to recognize themselves in a mirror. The only other animals capable of doing this are humans, great apes, dolphins, and magpies. Intelligence is also found in elephants' ability to problem-solve with tools, but probably the most well-known form of elephant intelligence is their superb memory. As they migrate from place to place throughout their lives, Elephants can remember locations of water sources along their migration routes. Elephants are the only living animals with long trunks. Trunks, which are a combination of a nose and upper lip, can be heavy and powerful. They contain about 150,000 muscle units and can weigh nearly 300 pounds. While an elephant's trunk can lift objects nearly twice its size, it's also adept at picking up small objects. Flap-like projections on the end of a trunk are precise enough to pick up individual berries or leaves. Outside of grasping, elephants also use their trunks to greet and reassure one another. They may intertwine their trunks or touch the face of other elephants to show affection. Elephant tusks are essentially giant teeth. Much like human teeth, elephant tusks are made of a material called dentine. The major difference is that elephant dentine has a diamond pattern that makes it super strong and gives it luster. Young elephants even go through a set of baby teeth, but theirs include baby tusks. They fall out after about a year and are replaced with a permanent set that can grow six feet long and weigh 50 pounds each. Unfortunately, elephants have been illegally hunted for their tusks. Demand for ivory products, which are made from tusks, has caused elephant populations to decline. African elephants are not endangered, but their Asian cousins are. African elephants are listed as vulnerable, and some countries in southern Africa are even experiencing an overpopulation of African elephants. Asian elephant populations have decreased immensely. The species habitat once stretched across Asia from Syria to northern China, 
but today they only exist in isolated pockets between India and Indonesia. Habitat fragmentation, poaching for ivory, and conflict with local farmers are all factors that put elephant populations at risk. But by studying the complicated nature of conservation, we can come closer to finding a way that both people and elephants, with their exceptional intelligence and larger-than-life presence, can peacefully coexist. I hope you learned um, a little bit more about African elephants. Um, we're going to get to our story. Tonight is, um, the book is called Strictly No Elephants. It's written by Lisa Manchev and it's about this boy and this elephant and how they make friends. So um, I will come a little closer so you can see the pictures. Strictly No Elephants by Lisa Manchev. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. Okay, so you can see some of the pets that these people have in the window. A bird, a cat, a fish, somebody has a house plant, two dogs, another dog, and he has an elephant. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. His is a very thoughtful sort of walk. Okay, you can see he's using that big, strong trunk to hold up an umbrella because it's raining outside. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do, lift each other over the cracks. Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Okay, you can see everyone's bringing their pet. He's getting his elephant ready. And you can see that there are no other elephants except his. Come along. There's a good boy. I coax him the last few feet. Come on, it will be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. All right, look at the boy's face. It doesn't look like it's a good sign. It says, strictly no elephants, and has a big X over the picture of the elephant. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do, brave the scary things for you. Okay, you can see they look pretty sad as they walk back home in the rain. They don't even have their umbrellas up. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. All right, so he meets a girl. She has a skunk for a pet. They don't want the skunks in the pet club either, or the elephant. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club, said the boy. Well, that's a great idea. It looks like the elephant and the skunk could be good friends. Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me, because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. 
I see a giraffe in the window. Do you see the giraffe? And I see a penguin. So here are some animals that are coming um, to their pet club. It looks like the skunk and the elephant, then a porcupine, a penguin, armadillo, a giraffe. So all kind of animals that might not have been included in the pet club they were trying to go to. We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us can play. All right, so a place where everyone is welcome. So we paint our own sign and it said, it had said strictly no strangers, no spoil sports and they crossed it out and it says, all are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. Look what a great time they are having. They're including everybody and everybody's having such a great time. because that's what friends do. I simply love this story about being included. Um, Strictly No Elephants by Lisa Manchev. And now we're gonna play a fun game um, and it's gonna ask some questions about African elephants and you can see if you can answer them. Okay, this is a little fun game called All About African Elephants, Fun Facts and Trivia. Are you ready to play? Question one. Adult African elephants can be as long as 24 feet. Yes or no? Okay, so what do you think? Can adult African elephants be as long as 24 feet? The answer is Yes, adult African elephants range between 19 to 24 feet in length and 10 to 11 and a half feet tall. All right, did you get that one right? Let's go to question two. True or false, a group of elephants is called a trumpet. Do you think that's true or false? The answer is false. A group of elephants is called a herd. The herd is led by a matriarch, which is the oldest female. Females, as well as young and old elephants, stick together in a herd. Question three. All right, you have to pick one of these, A, B, C, or D. What is the largest land animal on earth? Okay, this is only land animal. A, Asian elephant. B, African elephant. C, white rhinoceros, or D, Indian rhinoceros? All right, what do you think? The largest land animal on earth is, did you guess it? B, the African elephant. The African elephant, the African bush elephant is the largest living land animal, a native of various open habitats in, in sub-Saharan Africa. This elephant is commonly born weighing about 220 pounds. Wow. All right, how are you doing so far? All right, we're on to the last question. Elephants use their what for smelling, breathing, trumpeting, drinking, and grabbing things, especially food. What does an elephant use to smell, to breathe, to drink, to grab food? Did you guess it? If you guessed their trunks, you are absolutely right. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little, little game about African elephants. If you did not get them all right, that's okay because that's how we learn. So now we're going to do um, a little rhyme about elephants and it's called Elephants in the Bath Pub. How many elephants do you see? That's right, just one. All right, so maybe he's gonna have some friends come along. It goes like this. One elephant in the bath pub going for a swim. Knock, knock. Splash, splash. Come on in. 
All right, he's inviting another elephant in for a swim. All right, how many elephants do you see? One, two. Ready for two? Two elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock. Splash, splash. Come on in. Oh my goodness, do you think another elephant can fit in that tub? Let's see, put him over here. Oh, the tub's gonna get pretty heavy. All right, how many do we have? One, two, three. Ready? Three elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock. Splash, splash. Come on in. Oh no, another elephant knocked at the door. Where's he gonna fit? We'll fit him down here. Oh, they have to squeeze in. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. Are you ready? Four elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock. Splash, splash. Come on in. Oh no, there's another elephant. Oh, the tub is getting so heavy. You think five elephants can fit in a bathtub? I don't know. Are you ready? Five elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock. Splash, splash and the tub fell in. Oh no, the tub cracked and fell in. No more elephants going for a swim. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story time tonight about elephants. And let me know um, if you go to the zoo and maybe you can send me a picture of the elephants you see if you go to visit. All right, well, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. So we're gonna do our goodbye song, time, point to your wrist say goodbye and friends. All right, are you ready? Well, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Wave your hands and blink your eyes. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, my friends. I hope you have a really special weekend, and I will see you next Thursday for Baldwin Bedtime Books. Have a great weekend.